Hey there everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are interested in learning how to load your 3D printing filament into your Creality Ender 3 V2 or similar style 3D printer, stay tuned. I'm going to be walking through that and we're going to be doing it very quickly in today's video. So first, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so we have our Inland PLA Plus 3D filament here, just a standard roll, got it off of Amazon. Um, so a couple of things to note before you load it, just try to take a look and make sure that it looks like everything's lined up relatively well. I'm a bit concerned about this particular roll because you'll see it's a little bit disorganized. So you could end up with some of this kind of nodding up. I have, I'll have another video I'll link in the description kind of walking through some issues I've had with printing that are a result of that. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to try to find where this, we'll just call it the lead is. So you have a couple choices. You can try to feed this through, but once the filament's been like bent, I try to avoid using it. So the idea here is we're gonna go beyond this and we're going to do this at a 45 degree angle. So I will try to zoom in just a bit here and focus. So we have it at a 45 degree angle with the included clips. And the reason is this will help it to come out of the extruder a little bit more easily and result uh, or reduce the possibility of any kind of clumping. So you'll see when I focus in here, we have ours cut at an angle and you want to avoid accidentally letting go and having this uh, be something that you have to essentially re-roll. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna move this a little bit closer and we are going to work on actually feeding this through to the back of the device. All right, we'll go back on the tripod in a moment, but I wanted to walk through what we're doing. So this piece sits right here. We're just gonna take it right off. And then we have a little lever right here. You'll see when we push this in, it moves this piece right here out of the way of this little entry point. So basically, we'll go down to the side here and focus in. When we press this in, you're going to be feeding the filament in through this hole right here. It'll feed straight. And then it's going to go through this tubing into the extruder itself. So I'll go ahead and put this back on the tripod and then we will actually walk through that process. Now, another thing to note, you may wanna go ahead and get this spool set up wherever it is that it's going to be feeding from. That way you can tell the proper direction and just kind of see how the roll is actually going to be feeding in. All right, so as I said, we're gonna go ahead and walk through this. So we're gonna grab our loose filament here and then we are going to press in on this lever, avoiding putting any extra stress on any part of the printer so it doesn't get out of alignment. And then you are just going to feed it straight through. So I'll try to focus in here a bit. It should just push straight in. So at this point, you can push back on this lever and continue to feed it in until you feel it stop. And that's the point when it's hit the extruder and is basically ready to start coming out of the printer. So you can continue to feed. It usually will just feed through about this length. So you can kind of measure that out and kind of guess where it is when it actually stops. So it uh, looks like we're getting a little bit of pushback right there. So I'll leave it so we don't get any jams. We can then put this piece back on top. And then at that point, once this is set up, uh, most printers will have some way to get this loaded in. So for example, twisting this knob will help to feed this through. So you can set up your printer and do the uh, preheat for the PLI. And when you twist this, it'll actually start forcing some out so that you can see if it's coming out evenly and just kind of make sure that you're doing your testing before you actually start your print. So now we have this fed in, and if you have any feeders or anything, you can clip those on and get that set up as well. But I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment box below. Check out the other video links in the description, and I'll see you all in the next video.